Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Chili Games playing World of Warships, making a video. Uh, I cannot stream right now, but we can make videos of the new ships that came out. I do have all the cruisers, and I think Buffalo is actually my top pick for the Tier 8 cruiser so far. It's pretty disgusting. Uh, Donskoy, I would think to be a pretty easy second, and Rune probably being third? Ibuki's, <laughs> Ibuki's pretty trash, so um, I don't know if I'll... I'm going to try and get around to uh, making videos of all these uh, Tier 8 cruisers, at least the first part, but they're expensive. I spent about $180 million, I would say, getting all this stuff yesterday, but it's been a ton of fun. We also have Colbert for a week, so I'll probably make a video about how dumb strong Colbert is, but Buffalo the ship at hand right here absolute menace i love this ship it's no des moines but let's be honest des moines is pretty ridiculous i think it's a great uh buffalo feels great at uh at tier eight here in between baltimore and des moines with the reload build that i'm rocking with einstein you see we have a little bit of twist and track on there we have 20 second turret diverse with intuitive as well and uh 7.8 second reload i believe i think you can get that down to about 7.2 completely maxed out so bit of a uh a dpm monster to be completely honest it's uh it's nuts i love the 12 gun broadside with these american guns probably some of the best uh salvos to shoot in the game obviously aside from probably des moines but Des Moines is kind of just in a league of its own, so I'm not really going to try and compare it too, too much to that, but it's kind of hard not to when it's literally like the ship right before it in the, uh, the tech tree. I mean Bureau. <clears throat> Anyways, see that big old chunky salvo of AP we got on that broadside battleship? If you see literally anything at almost any range broadside in USN heavy cruisers, you best believe shoot AP, you will get some nasty salvos. I do want to go ahead and start ticking some fire damage on the Republic, just because Republic, like all the other French BBs, is covered in 32 millimeter plating. So with these guns uh, and the fire chance, you can pin pretty much everywhere except for the turrets on Republic. It only has two, so we're getting some really good, really consistent damage. I'm not too too worried about the Baltimore right now. My biggest thing when I play solo like this, um, and some people might say it's a little bit selfish, but um, I'm trying to take care of the targets that would either cause me the most harm. And right now, the uh, the main who's actually pushing up is the one going to be shooting the Baltimore. So I'm going to try and take advantage of killing the Republic because I know if I get into a 1v1 versus the, the uh, Republic, he could overmatch me and do a bunch of damage. So if I get him out of the way now, it won't be too much of an issue. And occasionally trying to take shots at the, at the uh, Baltimore as well. But the main should have not too much of an issue uh, getting rid of these two cruisers. The main actually might be the actual MVP of this game. And you see me kind of reversing here because I'm trying to get prepared for the BBs coming in the middle right there. Uh, our DD is trying his hardest to get himself killed, but the main is sticking in there. He's a he's a baller. He 100% wins this game, and I kind of wait a little bit too long here to try and get into position. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out where the team is going to collapse first, and I don't really want to push too too far and then not be able to get back and defend the base. So that's kind of what we're doing here. Uh, the Summers is a uh, Sumner is, uh, again, trying to get himself spotted and killed. I think he dies really soon. Yeah, he's getting shot at. <laughs> Not sure why he's trying to uh, kill himself here. But we're trying to squeak around here. We're trying to get as big of an angle across this island here to actually get a shot over at the buffalo. And uh, in about two seconds, we will. 12-gun broadside on this ship is absolutely disgusting we don't get that kill which is kind of sad but um a great shot from the uh, the main and the main actually lives for a long time i don't know why he has a massachusetts shooting at him the baltimore's there the buffalo like they in my opinion they could have killed the main way way easier and so right now again i'm kind of just holding put 
Massachusetts, obviously a problem for Buffalo because it can overmatch me and do a lot of damage. And the Massachusetts is going to come back to bite us a little bit in the end. And this is where I noticed the, the BB is pushing in through the middle, and that's a lot of HP that we're going to have to get rid of. And I'm thinking to myself, hmm, if I don't take advantage of this now and I have to kill two full health battleships by myself, I'm obviously going to die. So I take the opportunity to try and get crossfire shots into the uh, the BBs in the middle. Because if I can kill them, Massachusetts is will be decently low at the end of this. And I am holding my fire because I am giving broadside and I really don't want to. I take a risk here. I'm watching the Massachusetts turrets. And by this time I forgot that Iowa is sailing that way. Their guns are this way. They aren't focused over here. So I'm free to sail. Completely out in the open, flat broadside, checking back towards the battleship, making sure that I'm not going to get clocked for about 20, 30k. <laughs> Trying to uh, cheese some citadels on the bottom of stock here with the uh, the AP. He's just angled enough, so we're not going to get great damage, but we're still chipping him down, which will make our life a little bit easier in the long run. And I believe, I believe, I believe there's a tier six in our game. I think so. I think it's our DD, the uh, the scan, scan. I think, I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it is, but he actually is a a really good asset in this game as well. He does just what he can. Uh, uses his torpedoes, doesn't die. He gets about two or three more torpedo salvos out in this game, so he's conserving his health. He's not trying to just risk his life and kill him, and that actually goes a long way in helping us win this game. Uh, but it's not looking very good. The main has gone down. The good thing, though, is the Massachusetts has cut towards the middle, so I am free over here to sit here and try to get rid of the lot of off stock as our, I believe it's a champagne, is getting just absolutely brutalized <laughs> in the middle there. They also have two DDs left, which does not really sound very fun. The friendly DD also getting torpedo hits, which is very, very nice. Iowa has lost a lot of HP, um, and the... A lot of all stocks should be going down very, very soon. And by this time, I am spotted, but he has so little health that he's not going to be able to get the shot off. Skane gets the kill very nice. And at this point is where things kind of go a little bit weird. I know, obviously, Intuitive kind of helping me figure out where the Massachusetts is, but I have to make a push, and I don't want to come in a way where I'm going to be dead on flat up against the Massachusetts. So I'm going to try and come from the side here and get some nice shots off. Again, I'm a little bit indecisive here. I'm stopping to try and get shots on the Iowa, and I can't, I can't really, you know, I don't know if I want to push all the way through this middle part here, if I want to stop and help kill the Iowa. And uh, it works out for us, and at this point, once I see the, uh, the Massachusetts go that way, I was like, hmm, this is my chance. The more salvos I can get against the Massachusetts without him, you know, getting any shots in return, the better. Because, you know, you can always you can always tank about one or two shots in these kind of situations, or salvos, I would say. Especially since you're full health, like, like I am. If the Massachusetts did get a shot at me, I would really honestly bet that he would not get a devastating strike on me. So, anyways... Taking our time, we're killing the targets that would do the most damage to us, and, you know, it's been a little bit of an issue for us to try and push in this game because there was a lot of overmatch, and we can't just throw our, you know, our 27-plated cruiser just into the mix of Vladivostok, Iowa, Massachusetts. That's just kind of dumb. So, kind of been playing into the background, but the biggest thing for Buffalo is the DPM is there. It really is. I believe you get a... With the uh, the gun upgrade, you get a 10 second stock reload, which you can do with reload mod, refill station, and then belly. I believe the max is like 7.2, maybe 7, with uh, the uh, ding commander as an inspiration, but that's kind of pointless. So it's a uh, it's a nice bridge between Baltimore and and Des Moines. I really really like it. I I definitely think this is the best. It's best cruiser at tier eight. I think it's a ton of fun. The AP is so much fun to shoot at broadside targets. And again, I'm kind of just waiting patiently here, trying to get in a position to 
try and kill the Massachusetts or whittle him down to where I could deal with him later on. Obviously, he's turning towards me. Our destroyer is doing a great job of staying alive, but that's going to end very, very soon because they still have two DDs that haven't been spotted in probably like two months. So I think it's like right about here where shit kind of hits the fan. Yep, right there. Full health, Alan Summer. I know my friendly DD is dead here. There's really nothing that he can do about that. And it was at this point of the game where I was like, hmm, the only way that we win this is we hope to God that the enemy team tries to throw. So we're going to put ourselves in position to take advantage of that. You know, the game's not over yet. And uh, if I'm going to die here, I'm going to die with a, a good-looking shipwreck. You know, <laughs> we're going to go out guns blazing. And uh, we're going to try and take on the Massachusetts. Lucky for us, Massachusetts has no way of spotting us. And that's really going to help us here because he's cutting in. And he's actually going to be going perfectly. And the, one of the biggest drawbacks to Massachusetts is the turret traverse is really, really bad. And that's what's going to let us sneak up on him here. I get a little bit scared because I get spotted and I don't see him, but Mass's turrets are turned the completely wrong way. You see us get a chunky 14k salvo here. Beautiful shot. These guns are absolutely insane. I think I tried to go for citadels there. Probably should have just aimed upper belt again, but I get another, you know, nice 7k. Massachusetts is obviously saturated. And before he gets the shot off uh, with his turret traverse, we have taken about 30k from him, which is really nice. This, uh, there's nothing more satisfying than uh, getting into a joust match with a, a battleship and a cruiser and exchanging broadsides. The, uh, the DPM that you can put down range in Buffalo is absolutely insane. And this is where the, uh, the luck part of this match kind of just goes and, you know, people try to win harder. Uh, Alan Sumner here. I think he's trying to bait me. I know the enemy DD, the other DD, is to my left. So, we actually make a pretty smart play here. We hard break. We see those torpedoes coming. It was a pretty good bait from the, the enemy DD here, but he has no reason to come out and try to do this. You know, these guns, they hurt really, really hard, and he actually will not even get his torpedoes off, which is kind of hilarious. But again, this is definitely going to be one of the bigger struggles from Buffalo to Des Moines. Des Moines obviously having the much faster reload and would have gotten rid of the uh, Summers a lot quicker. But we're not taking that much damage here. We have a Hydra. There's a minute 30 left, and we actually take care of that guy. The Oster obviously is a destroyer without a smoke screen. We still have two radars left. 213,000 damage, three kills. And it's about to get a little bit close. I actually don't know the Ostergotland's torpedo reload, so I kind of just gun for it here. I don't really have time to to wait. If he does have torpedoes, I assume we can take about three. So I'm kind of just taking a bet here. I want to catch this guy as close as possible because, like I said, there is not that much time left. He is out of his uh, detection range for me. We have to use a radar. We do catch him broadside, so this first salvo is going to be a little bit chunky. That's a big boy. That's a big boy salvo. These, uh, these guns are insane, uh, and I love it. But this is where it gets a little bit interesting. We're not getting that great damage on this guy right now. He's doing the right thing. Our radar only has 10 seconds left, so we only have one salvo to go. And there is 25 seconds left. It gets really close. This is... <laughs> Really, really close. Thankfully, with the reload mod and everything with this reload build, we get to squeak out one more salvo, and we get a double fire, which blooms his detection. He has no damage con, and with nine seconds left in the game, five seconds, we kind of freak out. Yeah, it was kind of a dumb game, but Buffalo does have the tools with its guns to really, really surprise some people. I do go over my build. 4.1 base XP. Missed the Kraken by a little bit, but 230k, I will take it. Definitely my favorite, my top tier 8 pick. And I think we go to the Commander really soon. Chili, hurry up. Using Einstein with uh, Mimbelli and Scott for inspirations. That's pretty much the build. It's usually pretty standard for me. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it. 
Great talking to you guys again, and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.